Senator Ron Wyden is back home in Oregon after that deadly riot at the Capitol. Today, Fox 12's Bridget Chavez spoke to Senator Wyden about the attack and the consequences he wants the president to see. Senator Wyden says that President Trump is a clear and present danger and needs to be removed from office immediately. Wyden was on the Senate floor when that mob stormed the Capitol this week in D.C. and he says all he could think was how can this be happening and now he's determined to make sure it never happens again. Pull them, pull them this way. Oregon Senator Ron Wyden was on the Senate floor during the certification of the 2020 election when violent rioters attacked the nation's capital in Washington, D.C. And I saw officers with machine guns on the floor of the United States Senate. I kept asking myself, how can this be happening? Wyden slamming President Trump, saying he incited the violence and needs to be removed from office. He is responsible for this week's uh, domestic terrorist attack on the people's capital, and he ought to be held to account. The senator says he supports invoking the 25th Amendment because it's the fastest option, and while there are reports of talks, it still seems unlikely. The House is moving forward with articles of impeachment, but conviction and removal would fall on the still Republican-controlled Senate. Wyden, though, is hopeful. I think we do see real movement uh, among Republicans to protect the country. You know, Donald Trump showed that he would be willing to put our country at risk in order to advance his interests. It's not only Trump Wyden wants out of Washington. He says Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri and Senator Ted Cruz of Texas also need to go. And I think Senator Hawley and Senator Cruz uh, should resign. Um, I believe that the picture of Senator Hawley with his fist in the air, inflaming the domestic terrorists to advance on the Capitol is going to go down in history as an infamous symbol of one of the worst days in our history. When asked about a double standard and how those who stormed the Capitol were treated and Black Lives Matter protesters, Wyden says there's a clear difference. The president-elect summed it up, and that is that there uh, certainly is a different standard with respect to those uh, those protesters, the domestic uh, terrorists, and what Black Lives Matter and Black Americans have been up against. He says violence of any kind must not be tolerated. To their great credit, uh, Black Oregonians have made it very clear that violence is unacceptable in terms of advancing their causes to root out um, racial injustice. And many of them have made the point again and again that violence hurts the cause of Black Lives Matter. Now that Democrats have regained control of the Senate, Wyden will take over as the chair of the Senate Finance Committee and says they've got serious racial injustice issues they'll be dealing with. And Wyden says that when he returned home to Oregon this morning from this tumultuous week in D.C., his neighbors got together and baked him cookies, which he said is the true Oregon way. In Northeast Portland, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12 Oregon.